With this session update, I'm Shannon Lurkey. The Senate passed House File 5 on a bipartisan vote of 38 to 26. The bill will allow all students in Minnesota to receive free breakfast and lunch at school. The House passed the bill last month and now will go to the desk of Governor Tim Walz, who is expected to sign it. Here are some highlights from the Senate debate. Everyone in this chamber campaigned on putting money back in the pockets of families we represent. That's what this bill will do. Look at it like a lunchbox tax cut. It gives money back to families. But let's put all that aside. Besides the healthy meals and giving money back to families, feeding kids at school is the right thing to do. Being hungry makes learning almost impossible. There is no worksheet or assignment, test or project that will matter to a student who hasn't had anything to eat. There's not a reading program or a math strategy that will improve scores if a student doesn't know where their next meal is coming from. We cannot effectively invest in our education system without ensuring all students have access to school meals. We want students focused on learning, not stressing about if there's enough money in their lunch account. There are some very real needs out there that this will help to address. And some might say that it helps a few who may not need the help. Um, but uh, actually, I'm okay with that. Uh, there are a lot of pressures on a lot of families that this will take a load off of. And so they can invest their money elsewhere uh, and do a very good thing. And so uh, I'm happy to vote yes, and I hope members do. Yes, parents need relief. Moms and dads and families are being squeezed, and you're right, their food budgets are being squeezed. But I would submit to you that moms and dads know better what their kids like and what their children will eat than whatever the uniform school lunch may or may not be. Because I am a foster parent, I have children that are eligible for free lunches, I will be honest, you have to go into a porthole, you, you have to fill out all the paperwork, sometimes the portal doesn't work. I have thought about not doing the paperwork because it is onerous. There are a whole bunch of reasons people do not do this paperwork. There are, there are children who aren't even with their parents because there are children in crisis or children in need. We should not make children go hungry because of paperwork. Where is the level where we're going to stop picking and choosing who we're going to take care of? So it sounds to me like, uh, uh, and, and we hear all the time about a full stomach, they learn more. So if you have a student that weighs 80 pounds and a full stomach, what percent more is he going to learn than the student that weighs 180 pounds and is still very hungry? We're just not meeting the needs here, and this has been brought up a couple of times. It was brought up in Finance Committee. It's been brought up today about we do have that certain group of children that need more calories than other groups do, and yet we're just going to ignore them. And I've heard about the formula, putting money on the formula. I've heard about issues with spot, special ed cross subsidies. I've heard about mental health. I've heard about transportation issues, bus drivers, uh, equalization, debt service, operating referendums. I've heard about needing more school counselors. I need her, I've heard about facilities maintenance, uh, compensatory damage uh, done by not filling out the forms. Uh, I've not once from my district heard about we need free lunch for all. How fortunate we are to be having this debate that the state of Minnesota is sitting on a $17.5 billion surplus. Now some others might say that's not fortunate, but in this case when we're talking about taking care of our kids, I think it is safe to say that. But what we have to remember, be mindful of, is we won't always have that sort of surplus, and that the state of Minnesota having $17.5 of taxpayer dollars in its coffers comes at a cost. It comes at a cost for Minnesota families, it comes at a cost for Minnesota seniors, and we always have to be mindful of and planning for scenarios in the future in which our state might not be sitting on such a large amount of taxpayer dollars. This is a bill that provides a breakfast and a lunch to every student in Minnesota, K through 12, public or private school. 
Every student gets a meal. That's what's fair. It's not an unfunded mandate, as we heard so many times. In fact, we covered that several times. It's not unfunded. And it's also not a mandate. Students can still collect forms, or schools could still collect forms if they would like. They can still decide how kids are going to go through a lunch line. They can decide if somebody wants to have a second meal. Now, that one is going to be up to the family, but nobody is saying they can't do that. There is still plenty of local control. There have been 38 ayes and 26 no's. The bill is passed and its title agreed to. To continue following these issues and more, watch legislative coverage Monday through Friday on the PBS Minnesota channel or visit www.senate.mn and www.house.mn.